Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve a problem based on a very important concept that you have studied in this chapter, which is hybridization. So, in this problem, what we have been asked is to identify the hybridization states of carbon atoms involved in these three structures. Let's try to solve this one by one. So, if you try to look at the first structure, CH2 double bond CH single bond uh, uh, CN, you can see that the carbon atom is involved in a double bond here and it's involved in a triple bond here. A general way or easy way of identifying the hybridization state is to see what sort of bonding is involved. If it has a double bond, it's most likely to assume that it is involved in an sp2 hybridization and if it has a triple bond, we can assume easily that it could be a sp hybridization. But in order to confirm the uh, hybridization state, we need to also confirm the number of sigma bonds involved in that. So let's look at the number of sigma bond involved in the first carbon atom. You can see that the number of sigma bond involved in the first carbon atom is 3 because you have 2 sigma bonds from 2 hydrogen atom here and 1 sigma bond from the double bond here. So because it has 3 sigma bonds, the hybridization state would be sp2. So the same thing applies here as well. In the second carbon atom, you have again 3 sigma bonds that is 1 from the hydrogen atom one sigma bond between these two cc carbon atoms and one sigma bond from the double bond here. So you can see that the hybridization state would be sp2. Now here it carbon is involved in a triple bond such that the hybridization state is sp. Let us look at the second structure which is hc triple bond c single bond c triple bond ch. Now here also you can easily assume that since triple bond is involved the hybridization state is most likely to be sp hybridization. But let us try to confirm it by figuring out the number of sigma bonds. Here again carbon atom has only 2 sigma bonds that is 1 from the hydrogen atom here and 1 sigma bond from the triple bond. We know that in a double bond you have 1 sigma bond and 1 pi bond whereas in a triple bond you have 1 sigma bond and 2 pi bonds. So based on that because you have 2 sigma bonds here net here hybridization state would be sp, sp, sp and sp for all the carbon atoms involved in this particular structure. Let us try to figure out the hybridization state in this particular structure. So here you can see that the first carbon atom has 3 sigma bonds and is also involved in a double bond. So you can safely assume that the hybridization state of this particular carbon atom is sp2. Let us look at the second carbon atom which has 2 double bonds adjacent to it that is it is connected to 2 double bonds. Most likely all the students might confuse saying that since it is involved in a double bond, the obvious hybridization state would be sp2. However, that is not true because the total number of sigma bonds the carbon atom is involved with is only 2. Why? Because in this particular double bond there is one sigma bond and this particular double bond also there is one sigma bond. Since the net number of sigma bonds is just 2, your hybridization state will also be sp and not sp2. Same thing applies to the next carbon atom. You can see that here you have one sigma bond and here again you have one sigma bond. The total number of sigma bond this carbon atom is associated with is just 2 such that the hybridization state would be sp. The last carbon atom however has 3 sigma bond because of the 2 sigma bonds from hydrogen atom and 1 sigma bond from the double bond such that the hybridization state of this last carbon atom would be sp2. I hope you are very clear on how to figure out the hybridization state of carbon atoms involved in various structures. Thank you.